Now that you have a straw rocket, create a science experiment following the steps of the scientific method. Use the worksheet and the link below to follow along. The scientific method is a series of eight steps used by the best scientists around the world. The steps are as follows. Make observations, ask questions, research existing knowledge, create your hypothesis, develop and run your experiment, record your data, analyze that data, and finally share your results. You're playing with your new straw rocket. When you notice, it doesn't go as far as you expected it to. You've made an observation. Now we need to come up with a question. We want to know, will the type of paper affect how far the rocket flies? Use search engines like Google to learn about how straw rockets fly and use that knowledge to further develop your questions. It's time to come up with a hypothesis. Your hypothesis is what you predict will happen. For example, our hypothesis is that the rocket made out of printer paper will fly farther than the rocket made out of construction paper. It's time to identify our variables. You'll have an independent, a dependent, and several control variables. Your independent variable is what you change. In this case, it will be the type of paper you use. Your dependent variable is what you measure or observe. In this case, it's how far the different rockets fly. The control variable is what you keep the same. This might be the length of the rocket, the number of fins, or the shape of the nose. Come up with a method section. Here you will describe how you will change your independent variable and how you will measure your dependent variable. Good science is repeated many times to take as many errors into account. Write down how many times you will repeat your experiment. Create a table and graph of your results. In addition to the result for the dependent variable, include the average distance for each rocket in your table. Now it's time to analyze your data. After many trials, we found that the rocket made of construction paper flew farther. Why do you think that is? What did you find? Does the data support your hypothesis? What did you learn that you didn't know before this experiment? Remember, you cannot prove a hypothesis, but you can support it. We are always learning more in science, and many people repeat their experiments over and over to see if they get the same results. Now for the most important part of science, sharing your results. You can share your results by writing them up and sharing them with us on social media.